Hi, welcome back. This is part six of this basic Revit basics tutorial. And we've kind of done as much as we can to this ground floor layout at the moment. And we want to duplicate this uh, and lift it up to uh, level two. Um, so let's have a look at, I'm going to close down the east elevation that I've got and open up the south elevation. Double click there, open up south. Okay, let's stretch it out a bit. So it's nothing fancy. Okay, we've just got walls here with the open window openings on the side. Now, what I'm going to do is, is create a uh, create level two, and that's effectively going to be the underside of my roof. That will be my the height of the underside of my roof. So I'm going to. I can I could either create a new datum by going to the architecture ribbon and creating a datum here and sorry this one creating a level what this will do is automatically create a plan for that okay but a simpler way is actually just to kind of take a level that's already there hold control and we just drag it up okay now remember this is the absolute level and this is the difference so I'm going to change the difference to 3200. Zero, zero. I'm not going to have my first floor level as high overall. That's usually what happens when you get to the top level of a building. Okay, uh, now this level has turned in, arrived in black while the others are blue. And the black means that there isn't actually a plan for this level yet. If I look at the browser, you see I don't have a plan for level two. So if I want one, I need to go to the View ribbon and use this icon here, Plan Views. I want to generate a floor plan for level two. I'll need this for, for drawing the outline of my roof. Okay, now just before I do that, it's prompting me to save the project. Okay, so I'm just gonna go, go through this and then I'll save the project after. So it's saying, the only unreferenced datum line at the moment is level two. Create a plan for that. OK. Here's the basis of the plan, the grid lines. Revit's uh, very different from AutoCAD. If, if I look down from level two onto my drawing in AutoCAD, I'd be looking through all the floors. And that's why it looks really complicated. Here, the views have a range. So there, there isn't anything actually on level one at the moment. So when I look down, at level two, I don't see any outline of the building. Okay, it doesn't look all the way down to level zero. Okay, it can be made to do that. You can extend the range of the plan to, to show more. Okay, so I'll close level two plan just now. I don't need it just yet. Okay, so what I want to do is copy everything that's here up to level one. So if I use a a selection from the left to the right it doesn't accidentally pick up the grid lines I don't want to pick up the grid lines okay I'm using the clipboard that's in the software I'm not using a Windows clipboard so copy to clipboard then the paste button wakes up drop the arrow down and you've got some fairly clever ways of, of you know getting this stuff to various positions now, because I'm because I'm looking at the side of it, it's it's going to ask me to to reposition it to a different level. If I was working in a plan view at the moment, it might let me bring it to into the plan view I was in. So if I opened level one plan, I would align it to the selected view, or align it to the current view. Depends which way where I'm sitting in which viewpoint viewport. So I'm going to align this to a selected level. And I want the material to go to level one. And OK. OK, now things look generally OK, but there's a bit of a problem with the walls. The wall heights here were 3600 3, high. Now it's it's been very literal and it's taken them as they were and it hasn't crunched it to level two, which is what I actually want it to do. Level one's wall, level zero's walls went from zero up to level one. And let's just show you what's happening here. If I click on an external wall, okay, 
it's I'm looking at the top constraint here it says up to level 2 but it's then added a top offset of 400 it's like thanks very much but I didn't actually want that to happen so what I can do is I can I can carefully select the items here I'm not I'm avoiding the grid line just taking everything that's poking above level 2 datum okay and that lets me then say right no offsets here go to zero and apply so there's just a couple of items here that need dealt with individually we've got the columns inside the building okay top offset zero same here top offset zero now you could do that by selecting, selecting the stuff on plan but it seems fairly easy just to do it from the side okay so we've got level floor plan and all the insides worked out there uh, we need to have a quick look at the 3d view because we've got some doors in midair okay now rather than swapping these for windows I'm just going to delete them so you just click on the door let's spin round there's a door at the back that needs deleted and same around this side keep going a bit further delete that one you know you could start playing with the wind with the elevations here you could delete things just to make a bit more playful pattern I'm just gonna leave them as they are right so we can't at the moment we can't get from level the ground level up to first level so let's let's see what we've got to do here now I can't see inside the building the, the ceilings are in the way so if I right click one of the ceiling panels I can hide in view category okay I can see my first floor now okay now this was a copy of the ground floor and that ground floor had a slab a ground bearing slab Now you wouldn't have that at first floor so click your first floor slab and see here that's the slab type and let's change it for something more suitable to an upper floor so this in situ concrete on profiled steel will do like I say I'm just using most of this stuff straight out of the box I'm not adding my own just yet so that's got a thinner floor we'll see that in the sections when we when we look at those okay now I want to deal with a, um, a staircase so I can get up from one level to the next so I want to be on my level zero plan and I'm going to draw just a simple u-shaped kind of staircase here two flight so two, a flight a landing and a flight so nothing fancy or complicated just to get things moving so if I go to the architecture ribbon and I want to create a stair but I want to do this by sketching so it's stair by sketch okay we've got the drawing tools ready to use and I'm just doing this very roughly here nothing nothing too fancy so I'm just gonna click on the grid line about about a third of the way down here and if you look carefully you'll see there's some text appearing underneath my line it's saying 22 risers created zero remaining so it's needing to use 22 risers to get from level 0 to level 1 okay so if I take it back till it says 11 risers remaining 11 risers created I know my flights should be equal length okay so let go 11 risers created click again okay now drag up this way and this is going to create the half landing so roughly taking it about the same distance up Okay, and then return the flight back to the grid line okay so I've got two flights that are basically even it's not quite centered a uh, bit difficult to arrange that while I'm still in this sketch mode so what I'm going to do is finalize the stair so that I can then adjust its position okay click on the tick finalizes the stair and it's not far off symmetrical that so I'm just going to use my cursor keys just to nudge things here so not overly accurate 
Okay, and I'm going to take it back from the face of the column. Okay, so I want to run a floor across here. So we'll have a bit of floor beyond the column. Okay, then we've got a gap at the back here. It's a bit of a narrow stair for such a building, but uh, like I say, I'm not getting involved in designing stairs here too much. Just want to show you the basics. All right, so we can, we've now got a stair. What does it look like when we look in the 3D? It's like, oops, we haven't got a hole for the stair to come through. So I need to edit the floor slab at first floor. So if I click on the floor slab and edit the boundary for the floor slab, okay, can't see what I'm doing in this view. I can't edit the boundary on the ground floor. I need to go to the level one plan. So double click level one plan. Okay, this is the boundary showing in pink and all I need to do is add another shape to that and it will perform a subtraction like a subset. So if I get a rectangle, zoom in on the stair and let's draw a rectangle around the staircase. Okay, I can modify this slightly. Let's make it a bit longer. You wouldn't have a bit of floor running around there. It'd be, it's too narrow to use anyway. So let's drag this line over to the wall so that the floor edge goes over to there. Okay, like I say, really basic this. I'm not getting fancy with the stairs at all. I can save that for another session of playing around with just stairs. Okay, click the tick once you're happy with that. Now, watch out for this one. This pops up automatically. It's saying, would you like the walls that go up to this floor's level to attach to its bottom? Now, if you do this, you'll end up with a strip of a gap all the way around the side of the building. So don't do this. Okay, let's just say no to that one. Okay, now I might pay, pay for that later on, but um, I think it's probably safer to, to answer no there. Okay, if I look at the uh, 3D view now, we've got a cutout, but we haven't got any edge protection here. We need some balustrades to stop people falling down through the rest of the hole. Okay, I would do this on the level one plan as well. Okay, so I go to uh, architecture ribbon and railing, drop the arrow down there and sketch path. Okay, things are a bit busy here. It's not letting me see my tool set, but it's lines that I'm wanting to use anyway. It's defaulting to lines, so that's okay. Okay, now you can't do all your railings in one go. You have to basically do them in, in little sections. So I'm going to take a railing up and then along. If it'll let me do the next line. Good, okay. Great, I'm finished with that one. So press return and finish it. Okay, so that's my first section of railing. I then want to add another section, so I'll just have to launch the command again, actually. So architecture, railing, sketch path. And this time it's going to be an L shape in this orientation. Okay, so I'll pick up on the edge of the, the, the handrail of the stair, come down to the edge of the floor here, Okay, and then over to the wall. Press return to stop the, the command and finish the railing. Okay, have a look at that in 3D. Now it looks a wee bit crude, doesn't it? It's right on the edge of the stair. There's all sorts of settings we could change here for the railings. They, you know, like the stairs, this is that, that could be the whole subject of a whole exercise in its own right. But just for now, let's let's make this look like the railing that's on the on the stairs. So we just need to to get these balusters a bit closer together. So one of them selected already, one of the balustrades. If you hold Control and take the other one, because you want to change them at the same time, and then Edit Type. And it's the baluster placement I'm interested in just now. So I edit the baluster placement. 
Okay, and you can see here that's using 25 millimeter square balusters. Bit chunky, but anyway, we'll go with that. Uh, in Britain, anyway, we're not supposed to have a gap larger than 100 millimeters. So if my if my baluster is 25, then the distance from the previous baluster should be 125. That would leave a 100 mil gap in between them. I'm assuming that's how that's working. Okay, so I can apply and OK. And I need to do another apply and OK. Otherwise, it just cancels what I just did. So it looks a bit better now. It doesn't look so much like a kind of a Midwest saloon. Okay, but it is still a lot of verticals. And this is the reason we tend to find people using glass for their for their balustrading now instead of uprights because it, there's just so much metal involved and uh, it really looks much tidier with a piece of glass now or sheet metal that's punched or perforated or whatever. Okay, so that's the stair created and what we can do now is bring back our ceilings before we forget about them. So if we, if we only hit them in this view so it's only this view that they need to be brought back so we can reveal hidden elements okay if I right click the edge of the ceiling unhide in view category we get those back right so we'll stop this one just here we'll uh, just go back to the 3d view and then in the final section we'll add a roof and some foundations to the external walls